So, what the heck are we doing here, Lanny, at 2.48 a.m.? <laughs> well, I thought we'd do another Undertube, and this time we are going to talk about another YouTuber who's been with me for a little while. Uh, almost a year. Not quite as long as Travis yesterday. If you haven't watched that episode, go watch Travis and follow him as well. Subscribe, watch all of his videos, and love him forever. He'll appreciate it, just like Steven will. Uh, Steven's a great guy. Uh, he found me as well, actually, through our good friend Troy Dytryan, who you haven't met yet, but he'll be uh, featured later in the series for sure. And uh, one time Troy was playing The Long Dark, and he featured one of my time lapses, I believe is what happened. Uh, just kind of like, hey, check out this guy. He's got time lapses. Whoa! Oh no, I went inverted. <gasps> oh, that's scary. I don't know how to fix that, you guys. Well, I guess I'm just going to be backwards. Oh, there we go. <sighs> Look at me. Match genius. Yeah, this Northern Lights here. It wasn't even that great of a video. Hey, we can watch that video. It's mine. It's not copyrighted yet. See, amazing stuff. I got my settings all up. All the way in 4K. But yeah, that's where Steve found me. And ever since then, he's been... Just wanted to say my crazy bearded Canadian twin did something right for once. Uh, good old Troy. His monikers die trying and he screws up a lot, so... We like to razz on him about it. That's why I named my Troy the worst cat in the world after him. Partly. <laughs> but yeah. And Troy is another... Er, Troy, sorry. Steve is another great guy. And his channel is quite amazing. He's actually a scientist. He's not a mad scientist like me. He's a bona fide, actually certified geologist of all things. Uh, I, I tend to picture him a lot like, I don't know if you ever watch South Park, but uh, Stan's dad, Randy Marsh, you know, <laughs> the geologist, and I was always sitting at his computer, yeah, swearing and stuff, watching YouTube, that, that's, that's, I, I, I kind of picture you like that, Steve, until you you get to go on your next field, field work because the guy loves his field trips. He's a field geologist, and he likes to go along... Or a roadside geologist, sorry. And he likes to study roadsides. And I'm pretty sure the reason for that is because we cut a lot of ground to get through roads, right? So it makes for really interesting ways to find, you know, sediment and, you know, different layers and things. So, And you can learn all about that kind of stuff over at his channel. Like, look at this. Uh, volume of earth layers, you know, he does everything. Like, look at all the crap. Oh, this was really fun. He went to the Evolving Planet Museum, and, oh, it was, it was sweet. Yeah, uh, they had a free day. Yeah, it was fun. I don't get out much. Leave me alone. <laughs> if you like museums, and he's been making copper quarters, he's been obsessed with copper lately. Don't blame him, I love copper too. But he's been... Uh, trying to electroplate stuff as well. He's he's gonna be working on that, I think. And he's been making crystals out of copper sulfate, which is pretty sweet. And I'm, I'm gonna be doing that as well soon. Uh, Sarah, this fine lady right there and there, she sent him uh, the, the video, and he, he he they like started trying it right away, <laughs> like a couple of excited excited kids. It was pre it's pretty awesome. So you'll find that video in here somewhere. Maybe I'll just link one of those. And yeah, he just loves science, he loves geology, and he loves sharing about geology. And he's got so many geo rants and things that you gotta check out if you even have the slightest interest in Earth or where we came from or studying it or atmospheres of past or climate or, you know, even why the Earth's or why the moon's shadow moves west or west to east during an eclipse. And <laughs> that was one of his biggest videos was that one. 
a bunch of flat earthers picked it up for some reason. And he, he had a heck of a time with that one. And now his channel is kind of like inundated with those people's slightly. And it kind of annoys him because, like, why wouldn't it? <laughs> They're pretty annoying people. Uh, <laughs> they really are. Not, not, not to be pedantic, not, you know, <laughs> but, yeah, oh, lemon pepper sausage stew, that was a good episode, <clears throat> but, yeah, uh, and, yeah, you can't really say too much more about the guy, he, he kind of shoots whatever he wants, too, uh, like, some days you might get slow-mo fire out of him, you might get the reflection in his pool, uh, that was a good one, too. Yeah, because campfires a lot of the times. But it's GeoRents. You're going to learn a lot in those. Uh, I I used to share quite a few of them on Reddit. I haven't been on there in a while, though. Uh, I, I have been popping in and out a little bit, so if there's any Reddit people, hi. Yeah, GeoRant on Ice Ages and stuff. Like, he's been making content for a long time. Like... A long time here. And he's got all of his kitties. He's, and yes, 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 the kitties. And he'll be filming and there'll be a cat that interrupts or a cat that gets in the way. And everybody loves that. Everybody. Everybody does. It's true. <laughs> it's like the best part of YouTube. But yeah, look at all his comments. He's He's just a great guy too. So yeah, make sure to like and subscribe him, and check out all of his content, and check out his adventures with Blackie and Ezra and Sarah, and freaking go check out a super deep borehole, baby. I started watching that, and I haven't gotten all the way, Steve. I, I was too excited about your borehole, I couldn't, I couldn't contain myself anymore. No, but... I haven't been meaning to get there. But yeah. Uh, a big project we did together, kind of, is... Uh, they went to the... I er, Sorry, wrong story. They went to the solar eclipse, obviously. That's why he was making some videos about it. And Sarah got some wicked photos of the solar eclipse. And I offered to edit them because they don't have, you know, all the fancy editing softwares. And we ended up coming out with some pretty great stuff. And, oh, that's not what we want to watch. Out. <laughs> but, yeah. And we edited all those photos. So you can see that on their channel, too. And that was a fun project. And we were going to do the... I He was... They were going to go do the ISS transit over the moon, but it's just been really cloudy and really terrible lately. Anytime you want to go outside and shoot anything, it's just been really hazy. And just it, it's been the worst winter for trying to try to do any astrophotography because you want it like super cold. You want those such cold nights you don't want to go outside and you're... You try to breathe and your lungs freeze <laughs> on contact with the air. It's pretty terrible. But just look at this. Thing. He comments on pretty well every one of my videos. And I've seen him around as I've been going around meeting new people. And I've been seeing him pop on a lot of your guys' videos too. So uh, a lot of you probably already know him. But make sure to go to his channel and watch and share a lot of his videos. You're going to learn a lot about things you probably never do about rocks that's for sure but yeah it's not just rocks it's the earth's history too right so all right i probably should end it how long i've been talking oh, only nine minutes that's pretty good for me really <laughs> but yeah yeah he was pretty disappointed after the the lunar eclipse there but yeah, I should probably try to keep these about 10 minutes anyways. So thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Um, my big YouTuber tip for the day is...
when you are watching a video, I'm going to pick uh, this one, because this one's a good video. Good morning, me, Steve. Uh, make sure to like and hit this share button. This is the important share button. Like, a lot of the times you're going to be tempted to just, like, boop, copy, and, like, paste it on Facebook or whatever. But YouTube loves this button. It is really in love with this button. If you click this button and you click to, especially Google+, Plus, like Google loves itself. So if you share somebody's video to your Google+, Plus, Google like is like, ooh, this person is very active on my Google Watch. <laughs> and it's going to help a lot. Uh, if you can make a Tumblr, everybody's on Tumblr. Might as well be you. You could be a blogger, not just a vlogger. Or you could be a vlogger blogger, or a vlog blogger. F flobber? I don't know. There's got to be a word there. Leave it in the comments if you think of a better one. <laughs> but yeah, keep throwing your meaty flesh onto the gears of YouTube's algorithms, and we'll get through this together, so... Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe if it's your first time. And share the crap out of everybody's videos like I showed you. And keep sharing, keep loving each other, and stay safe. Bye, everybody! And now that awkward pause while I look for the stop record button.